Hi Jane, what, what would you like to spend time talking about today? Um, well I kind of thought I would come and I really wanted to talk about um, some of the difficulties I've been having, just feeling really paranoid lately. Mm. But I've, I've just, I've got here and I've just got a real sense of, um, I, I don't really know what to talk about. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, what's going through your mind just now? For some really strange reason, I, I just feel a bit emotional and as though I can't focus on... I don't know where to start. Mm. And, and there's a strange reason for that? Um, yeah, I, I don't know why, because I came in thinking, mm. you know, that we've had other sessions and I just... We've been talking a lot about, you know, me feeling quite paranoid. I, I just suddenly just feel, like, almost quite anxious. I don't know where to start today. Mm -hmm. So so the paranoid stuff isn't something that, that you no, want to talk it's about? it's there, but I've got... Um, it's, there's just so much going on. Mm, and, and you're kind of doing that. Can you, can you sort of talk about... that's how I feel about... like it's just closing in on my head and... It's closing in. Yeah, that there's all the paranoid stuff. Yeah, yeah. And I feel quite paranoid now. Mm, even even yeah, talking like, about it. Yeah, just as though. Is that related to the closing in? Um. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. So when you, can you just tell me a little bit more about the closing in? Is it that everything is going on in my head? I've got mm. so many thoughts. I've got what you must be thinking of me. What other people are thinking of me and all this sort of paranoid stuff, but... And they're I, closing in. Yeah, that's there. And then there's all this other thing, all this other stuff about things that have happened in my life, and I, I've just been thinking about it a lot in mm. the last few days, to the point where it's felt overwhelming, and, and it, it's all just like a, a big mess. And, and so it's all sort of thoughts. Yeah. And, and they're... Where does the kind of the, the... So you've used the word mess now. But, but you've, you've said there's a sense of them closing in, is that...? Yeah, as, as though I want to just... Well, it just feels like this whole mass of spaghetti. Just right there now. Yeah, and I, and I, I want to use today to talk to you about some of the things that are bothering me, but I, mm. I can't untangle the spaghetti enough to, to just pick something. Uh-huh. And, and you need... Does the spaghetti need to be untangled for you to...? Um, to get something. Well, not like it has to be <coughs> untangled, but just if I could just take one, one strand of it. Hmm. Hmm. How does that sound when you when you put it in those terms? Horrible, because there's so much. So it's like the quantity. Yeah. How how, how much is there there just now? A huge amounts of spaghetti that I can't. It's almost like it's just going to kind of entangle me and. So you, you must just be thinking that I'm utterly bonkers. What, what made you say that just now? Because that's what I've been thinking this week about everybody else. Just that people are talking about me and saying really horrible things. And I, I know that it's you're bonkers. stupid. Yeah. And, and you know it's stupid. Well, part of me knows it's stupid, but... What, what do you mean stupid? What, what's the part that knows it's stupid? Because there's a part of me that thinks, after what happened mm. at work, and I, I had to stop working mm -hmm. because I, I got really paranoid. Mm. Um, there's a part of you that you're talking about. There's a part that that knows it's stupid. Yeah, that now I know I'm okay, and I'm kind of really wanting to go back to work. But mm. when I think about doing it, um. I just feel really paranoid again, and maybe, so maybe the... I'm not okay. Hmm. And that that part that knows it's stupid. Where's that just now? It's like it's here, but then there's right. this other part that's saying, "Well, you know, you're stupid for even thinking that you can go back to work. You know, you're like this now." And hmm. so the part over there knows it's <laughs> it's stupid. But this part over here is also telling you that, you, that you're stupid. <laughs> but that yeah, in a way, but for different reasons. So different sorts of Part of, of me saying, look, everything's okay, just hold it together. And, you know, there was a reason why that happened. And 
um, if you go back to work, people will understand. And then there's this other part saying, no, you know, you're still paranoid, you're, you're still not well, and you can't go back to work, and this is And that, that sounds like you, you're kind of even using a stern voice as you say that. Is that, is it sort of a bit, that part, is it, is it a bit sort of stern? Yeah, and that's the part that's also saying that you're sitting here thinking that I'm stupid, and I think that's mm. why I feel upset, because... I want to just use our session productively to talk about mm. something, but I, I, I can't help worrying about what you think of me. So is that part, there's worry associated with that part as well? Yeah. And, and with the other part, if, if this part has like a, a sterner sort of voice, can you, can you tell me a bit more about the, the other part that, that, that's saying it's okay and... Well, it's, it's kind of saying, well, just get on with things and, and go back to work. But I, what sort of voice is it using? Um, well, just, you know, come on, just, just get it together and, um... So that sounds a bit stern as well. So they're both kind of it's stern. Like, it's a bit like the voices that I had. Mm-hmm. So maybe they're coming back again and maybe I'm not okay and I can't go back to work. So that, is that that part again? Um, yeah. Uh-huh. So, so everything just feels a bit confused. Mm-hmm. So with, when, when this part's kind of kind of saying all those things, you know, yeah. telling you you're stupid and, um, what, what's, what's the other part doing? Well, that's, sometimes it's a bit like they're having a fight, mm -hmm. but then sometimes that part's just quiet. Mm. And, 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 and what's it doing while it's quiet? It's kind of... So it doesn't go away? No, it's, it's just, just more an image of just sort of there with it, you know, like, I, it, it's me, mm. and I mm. can see myself just sort of standing there with my arms folded. Hmm. Doing, doing what? You know, just sort of being a bit while this frustrated. Other, while this other part's going, yeah. you're stupid. No, no, no. Yeah. What's going through your mind just now? I feel like I'm on a treadmill. Hmm. What, what, what made that occur to you? Cause that's what it feels like. It's like I, I've got the work worries. I've got how I'm feeling, you know, what the yeah. paranoia, what the voice is going on. I've got these, you know, this sense of part of me saying one thing, part of me saying another, mm. worrying about what you think, all these memories I've been getting about stuff that's been going on. And, mm -hmm. and where does the idea much. of a treadmill come from? Because I'm, I'm kind of like, maybe not a treadmill, you know, one of those hamsters that go on those wheels. Oh, OK, OK. It's like that. So it's a bit like a treadmill, but I feel like a hamster on that wheel, and it, it's spinning and spinning, and I can't get off. Uh-huh. And, and do you want to get off? God, yeah. I, or just... It's a mixture between being on that hamster wheel and, mm. and also in my head it's this picture of all that spaghetti. Mm -hmm. And wanting to just... Maybe picking a strand of spaghetti would be like getting off or, or slowing mm. the hamster wheel mm -hmm. down. So the spaghetti's still there? Yeah. And, and is there as much of it there as there was before? Yeah. It just doesn't feel as though it goes down at all. OK. And, and you were talking before about it almost even kind of as though you were in the middle of it. Is, is that scent still there? Yeah. And, and they're just being things that are coming into my head that I, d I don't want to think about either. OK. So more things coming in. Mm-hmm. And, and what's happening with the, um, the, the part of you that's telling you it's all stupid? Is that...? Well, that, when I start to think about the spaghetti and the feeling of the hamster wheel, I, I don't think about that. I mean, they're there. Hmm. But it's just like they're... Th I can see two of me just hmm. standing either side, but it's not doing anything. Hmm. How does it sound when you, when you lay it all out like that? Just too much. All of them are too much? Everything together just feels too much, and I didn't even plan to come and talk about this today. Hmm. Hmm. I, d I didn't even really know that this was everything that was going on and, and, and how I felt. I wanted to talk about, you know, the worries that I've had this week of people talking about me, and hmm. I, it's like all this other stuff stopping me from being able to focus on what's really bothering me. Uh-huh. So you, you know what's really bothering you? Well, I, I thought I did, but hmm. well, the, the thing that I'm most bothered about this week is, you know, feeling quite paranoid. Yeah. What, what bothers you about that, Jane? Of not knowing 
whether the things that I think about other people are really happening or, or not, hmm. and, and not knowing your own mind. Does so that make sense? So it's the not knowing that's the... Yeah. What, what bothers you about not knowing? Because I'm, I need to know if, if it's really happening hmm. or whether it's just in my head again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and I don't even know whether all the stuff in the past was in my head. I don't think it was. Right. So you're not even, you don't even really know about that. No, and, I, and it's important to know because if I, if I want to go back to work mm -hmm. at some point, um, I, just to make sense, I just need to know whether I can go back and, and talk to people or who I can trust. And d Does that make sense to you? In, in the sense of knowing who to talk to and who not to talk yeah. to? Because when I left work, yeah. I, I did do a few things that were pretty embarrassing. Mm. How do you feel about those now? I'm still really embarrassed. Mm -hmm. And so you'll have to go back to work where they... Yeah. So now I've got the, the embarrassment of what I did yeah. and, and plus you know, now going back to work and, and feeling worried about what people think, which is what I was in the first place, but mm. now that I have done something for people to talk about, mm. there's like a genuine reason for them to, to say things about me which could be negative. So you've got a genuine reason now? Yes, it's like it is really happening. I know some of it will be happening, but I don't know whether some of my other feelings are, are real or not. Mm. You kind of screw your nose up as you finish just then. Just, I don't know where to start with it all. I just, I just want some calm, really. Hmm. That, what, what happened for you just then when you, when you said that? Well, just, you know, I just took a breath and thought, just a sense of, for all of this to, well, just wanting to pause it, really. Hmm. And, and did it pause just then? Yeah, maybe if just for a millisecond. Hmm, hmm. Because you kind of seem to, like, just change a little bit. Yeah, I just... I just had a, a sense of, just for one second, it being... Uh, being able to pause it, and then it all just came back again. OK, OK. So when it when it just paused, what... Was it like they're all just sort of frozen, or did yeah, it, just everything, everything disappear? Yeah, everything just froze. OK. So they, they were still yeah. all there. Yeah, and I, I just sort of, yeah, I think I just blanked my mind just for a millisecond. You blanked it? Yeah, I think it was me. I don't, I don't really know how it happened, it just did, it just... And it was, it was blank? Yeah. So that sounds different from, I mean, I'm not contradicting you, but, but it, you were saying that, that it was like they all froze, and then you kind of said it was like your mind went blank? Is it, is it more like blank than... No, I think it was all there. I think now, um, I think that, uh, there's this feeling that I've got of just, you know, almost like I can't breathe. Mm -hmm. And that settled just f for a moment and it's feeling a bit more settled now. I, I don't know why. Mm. So maybe it wasn't that my mind went blank. It's all still there. Mm. But I just had a sense of, oh, I can just breathe for a moment. And, and that's, you're feeling a bit like that now even? <laughs> Well, I was, but now I'm getting this, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of going again as everything's coming back into my head. Okay, and so did it just come back instantly, or, or what, did you, what did you first notice? Well, I, I started to notice all the things I was talking about, so the images of myself either yep. side, and then I saw the spaghetti, and then... The hamster just, wheel. And yeah, and mm -hmm. that, that feeling, well, the hamster wheel's more like a, a feeling of being on the hamster wheel again. Okay. And then... <laughs> As soon as I see all of that, I, I start to get just flashbacks to um, <laughs> to things that happened when I was working and mm. things that have happened in my life. It's like. And when they all came back, did it happen in that sequence? You remembered the the two parts of you, and then the spaghetti, and then the feeling yeah. of being on the hamster wheel. Yeah, and then all this just like flash images of of work and people and, and things that have happened and people in my life, really. And where, where did your mind go to just then? 
I'm just wanting to stop. I, I, I don't even feel like I can... I just feel like I need to stop talking for a bit. Huh. Okay, well, will we, will we leave it there just for mm. now? Yeah. Okay.